In a book I found this circuit, the Wien Robinson Bridge, and it was combined in that book with a lot of mathematics formulas. I don't uh, show these formulas because all my work is experimental and I'm sure you can find on the internet the right formulas to uh, do calculations on this uh, type of circuit, the Wien Robinson Bridge. This is my experimental setup. Uh, the property from the Wien Robinson Bridge is that it nulls out a certain frequency. So when you put in here a sine wave, sine wave generator, and here you listen to uh, which frequency comes out, you will hear that on a certain frequency um, the frequency is pulled down to the zero level. So you don't hear anything and when the frequency gets higher or lower you will hear the sound again. I want to demonstrate that now with this experimental circuit. This is the 100k potentiometer. It's here in the circuit. Put on the audio now. And when I um, change the value from this resistance, the, so I turn the knob from the potentiometer. It's nulled out here, and when I turn the potentiometer more to the downward side, it comes back. So I null out now the frequency that is um, here in this case 430 hertz. It also works on this, these frequencies in this frequency band, but not so well. So let's see on the scope what happens. Turn the potentiometer again to the upper side. Go back now to the, the other side and here the sound returns. And here it is nulled out completely, and here it's again a crafty sound. Uh, you can also do that on other frequencies. So let's take another frequency, a lower frequency, and you'll hear that it's not possible to null the frequency completely out. And of course, this has all to do with the components here, uh, when you um, change the value from the capacitors, I'm sure you can find um, uh, the values on which the, this circuit, the Wien Robinson Bridge, can null out all kinds of frequencies. I think it's possible to uh, null out all frequencies between, let's say, 100 Hz and 10 kHz. So it's an interesting circuit to do experiments with. And when you want to do calculations, I'm sure uh, you can find the right information on the internet or Google. But this was a first experiment. The circuit works well and the only drawback is uh, that this location here is not grounded. That's the reason why, why you hear the frequency uh, and also at the same time a big hum. So it's something to take in account when you want to use this circuit in an audio application. Um, you have to find a solution to um, suppress that hum, to take that hum away from this uh, audio filter. I did a first experiment uh, in which I, gr I uh, connected here a capacitor, small capacitor. It, it takes away the hum, 
but it also distorts the properties from the filter.